Um, I'm Megan DeBolt and I'm here with my good friend Nikki Sharp with Destination Community Fitness. Hello. And we I invited Nikki to join me today because we are going to be making her favorite, favorite meal, mm. haystacks, which are the seven day Adventist version of the tacos. And we're going to learn a lot about tacos today. Also, they no haystack is created equal. Like you can make a lot of different variations of haystack. We're going to start with the healthier version and then we can talk about how to make have some fun add-ons to it as well. Um, as we um, find some, find some different things that we can things that we can add. Okay, so okay, within so the cookbook, we're, 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 we're going to start with, start with um, corn chips. Corn chips. And Roman, Roman, um, yeah, um, so then, 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 so multiple flavors but crunch and then like not super like soupy necessarily okay cool yeah. so roman lettuce or any type of lettuce really yeah. and then also uh, avocado chopped avocado um roma tomatoes but i buy um like cherry tomatoes because they're easier to chop up they don't have as many seeds and as much um you know like juice in them to make them soggy yeah. uh and they're on sale um what do you guys use roman tomatoes or do you use cherry tomatoes? we have tried all sorts of kinds but our favorite is this kind as well because we have a small like almost three-year-old and he really likes mm -hmm. like small things just to throw in his mouth like anything like he can grab and go that's like a yeah I remember those days. I remember those days. Um, sure. So tomatoes. So tomatoes. Um, and then corn. We have some great corn here. Um, this was actually summer corn that we cooked and then um, and then chopped off the cup. It was a lot of fun. So kind of prepping corn is quite the process. And then we froze it, but we defrosted it and we've got some good corn here. And then something else that's really great is some cooked black beans. These are actually canned black beans that I drained and rinsed um but you can also if you want to make your own black beans i know you make your own black beans right Nikki. um or you could go back to one of our previous cooking um classes that we did with lindsay thompson and watch how she made various different versions of beans um and some tips on how to make it so that they don't make you gassy um, and then next, we also will have a good quality salsa, which we have some, and then other toppings that you can do, you can do pickled jalapenos. Um, in, the, in the cookbook here, they call out green onions, and so we actually have, I chopped up some green onions today, and black olives are a great addition. I love black olives. Mm -hmm. um, cilantro, um, we got some cilantro here to chop up, and I actually learned I just rinsed the cilantro in one of our first cooking classes that we did during our kickoff week back in June of 2021, which seems like a lifetime ago. Oh my gosh, this year has been a lot of fun. Um, I learned from Chef Ian at Caprio a way to rinse the cilantro and then roll it in paper towels and like put it in the refrigerator and that helps it dry out. And so it still stays, like when you chop it, it stays like nice and, and kind of like taut and crunchy when you chop it up, which is kind of cool. All right. I learned a lot from watching his um, cooking demonstration actually with Katie. And you can actually watch that on our website as well. Rebecca put all of our amazing cooking demonstrations up there and they are awesome. Um, but you can also add some other things too, like nuts and things like that. And we'll go over those. Um, but we're going to start by putting this together and really haystacks are all about layers mm -hmm. and, and layers are important from what I understand. Yes. Um, and the most important layer from what I have learned, um, my when I first married my husband, actually before we got married, he was like, "Let's have haystacks for dinner." And I was like, "A what? Like, mm -hmm. what is that? What is a haystack?" And he's like, "It's kind of like a taco salad." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, I like taco salads." But his thing was like, it was all about the chip layer, <laughs> and, and he likes Fritos. And so a lot of the times they will make them Fritos, and 
I at least made it so that he, we buy lightly salted Fritos and you can see we use them. Oh, that's pretty loud, sorry. Um, but we have some nice blue corn chips, which are a little bit of a healthier option, but sometimes you gotta splurge and it's all about moderation. Yeah, right? like, it's all like, about moderation. Yeah, moderation in most things. So <laughs> corn to like balance, yeah, all things. <laughs> but a lot of the times in my house, I have blue corn chips, but we definitely have Fritos. So we have them on hand all the time. Um, but cool, right, let's, let's start putting these together. All right, let's put it over here. We got plates. I'm gonna shift us, and Nikki's gonna start with chips, and I'm gonna chop up some. So Nikki does the chips. Um, Nikki, so you said you use Fritos too? Yeah, we use Do Fritos. We also use the La Calandria um, corn chips. Oh, yeah. those sound good. So they're, just, they're not uh, blue corn, but they're definitely corn chips. Oh. I like that. I saw corn chips before that I've gotten at Super One mm -hmm. that actually are cooked in uh, like a coconut oil. Yeah. And, oh my gosh, they melt in your mouth. They are delicious. <laughs> um, I think it's actually the coconut oil that's melting in your mouth. But um, <laughs> they are so good. I have a question. How do you like your lettuce? Do you like it like in thin strips or do you like it in strips? That is perfect. Yeah. So when back in the day when I would order mine from Stone Soup, I have ordered, they would always provide me this homemade lettuce back right. in the day. You can order. You're gonna order haystacks from your Stone Soup. Yep. Order your own yep. from Stone Soup. That's amazing. Rest, Walla Walla's Restaurant Month, or February's Restaurant Month. Walla Walla, right? Yeah, it is. Stone Soup haystacks. That's mm -hmm. gotta be on the menu for somebody here soon. Absolutely. Can you ask Rebecca if the sound's good? Hey, Rebecca, how's the sound? Or if it's better. Is it better? Anybody else? Emily, how's the sound? You can text me. I've got my watch on. You can tell me how the sound is. It's pretty is. good. I, is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yes. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad. Thanks. I'm trying to speak. So. Oh, I'm glad. Siri thought so. <laughs> she's participating. She's well participating. Today. You're always listening. English. <laughs> so um, my sometimes my husband likes like like it's chopped up like really oh really thin, thin? Okay. like really That's thin. Way to do it. I don't chop it up very well like that though. I'm not a very good chopper. I yeah. Kind of chop and go. Fair. Um, Connor will do better. Like anything he can grab, he'll be like stoked about. My yeah. son, who's almost three years old, mm -hmm. he's still in the finger food stage. So it's better to have him have options for all the things he can grab. Cool. And mm -hmm. so then you take the lettuce and you put it on the oh. chips. Yeah, you go beans first. Oh, you do beans first. Well, let's do beans. So we got beans. our black beans. So I'll yep. let you do. Beans. I'll do the bean situation here. Okay. So how many, how many is it like? A specific amount. I like to balance that. Make sure it's like evenly distributed across the okay. entire plate. So something that I don't know about you. you something do. I do mm -hmm. is I you crunch crunch my chips because then I like to. Oh, I'm gonna have my nails. Um, <laughs> I, like to, I like to eat it like kind of kind of like with my fork, mm -hmm. you know, and like Fair. scoop it up. I also crunch mine, but this is like a part of the process. I'll, I'll do it after. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, totally. Good job. I love process. you have this. I love oh, this I process. Oh, I feel though. like you're proud of me. Are you okay with this? Are you okay I like with a, this? I like a lot. Of okay, we're going to get all the I like a lot of then. I feel like beans are like a superfood, mm -hmm. right? Because we don't eat a lot of meat in our house. Mm -hmm. And so that we eat like a lot of beans. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you have all the beans then, Megan. We got you. Take care of. a lot of beans. Okay, so what do you put on after these? So if I'm doing this as it's supposed to be, like I would probably go next with lettuce. Okay. So I'm going to go let next. you do lettuce. All right. And while well, you do lettuce okay. that I chopped up roughly, so well. mm -hmm. um, I'm going to start to chop up this avocado, okay. which is nice and firm, but kind of, I, I have never really good, have been good at choosing avocados, but I got this one at the market by Andy's today. Mm -hmm. And I felt like it looked pretty good. It's like, Firm, but I can also kind of in push into it. Mm -hmm. How do you chop up an avocado? Ooh, I just mm -hmm. learned a new technique, which is like cutting it in half, mm -hmm. take the pit out. I'm gonna demonstrate that. I am. I'm gonna gonna good. Cut it in half. Cut it all the way in half there, take the pit out. I'm like, I did a little hack where you're like, yeah, totally. Yeah. And then I usually go put it somewhere. Mm -hmm. but then I'll go right okay. to the garbage can. Just uh, yeah, I sometimes I'll put it in the sink and then it gets stuck mm -hmm. in our garbage disposal. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Then, so I like to do the slice. I just, long, like, okay. Slice. I do, do too. You do angle. Okay. Oh, I, like I, I do angle. Okay. Huh? Well, like I asked you, but now I'm just yeah, doing like it on my own. Right. So then, then I cut the other way. Okay. Perfect. 
And then I get a spoon. I just scoop that out. And scoop I like, we actually have a ratio when we have a family meal. Like everyone gets half of our avocado. Oh. Like that way you know that you have a plan for everyone to have. Oh, that's a, nice. A that's really considerate. I think I take like a lot of the avocado in our family. <laughs> <laughs> like, except for that's maybe for Kaylee. Me. Maybe Kaylee. Yeah, our daughter Kaylee. So that was something I had to really figure out how to do an avocado or slice an avocado and stuff when I was um when our daughter, who's 10 now, when she was like four or five months old, because she was uh, on the verge of failure to thrive. And our doctor was like, You gotta just get some fat in her. And so um, and so they're like, give her avocado and mix it with your breast milk and so I did but I would have the hardest time doing avocado one person told me like oh peel it and then and then it like mushes in your hand and yeah, gets everywhere it's been green so you're just like sliming I know and so I yeah. and at that time I mean this was 10 almost 11 years ago she's gonna be 11 on February 22nd um this is a while ago they didn't have like you <laughs> like to Bolt's birthday they didn't have like Pinterest then and like I right. know that there was YouTube, but it wasn't like it, it wasn't was like now. It was now. No. And so I think my husband actually was like, What are you doing? Like, this is the better way to do the avocado. Um, but this is how we boys an avocado. I know you can also like before you slice it, you can like take it out and then slice it mm-hmm. on the cutting board. Too. Yeah, my brother in law thinks that that's the best way to do it. Uh-huh. And I I like this just because I don't know everything's done. And it's not messy, it doesn't no get mess. my cutting board messy. Also true. Yeah. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we got Chips, beans, lettuce, avocado, mm-hmm. which sometimes we'll make guacamole because I okay. love guacamole yeah. and mm-hmm. we'll do guacamole, which, which is technically like avocado with like salsa wine. and wine. Yeah, yeah. In a sense. Um, but what do you do next? So next would probably be the corn or the tomato. So I probably like, we've already did this chopping. Why don't you all do the corn and you okay. start chopping? And corn. I'm going to say, I don't want corn on mine. Oh, perfect. I don't. I don't really like corn on things. I could eat it out of that You're eat container. Perfect. But, um, well, I'll put but, that on mine then. Okay, you can have the um, corn. But I think it's important to customize. Yeah. I think that is like another great example of like, we're all unique. Right. We like to do our things. So. And so, how? Oh, oh, that corn it looks good too. Mm-hmm. I love it. I, I love corn. This is the other thing with uh, Haystacks is that you try to like, you start to pile things on it. Oh, this has gotten entirely out of hand. This <laughs> becomes a giant. This is Shot a lot. My, my eyes are bigger than my stomach, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's where we're filling up like the center of the plate yep. and we're not okay. letting it overflow too much into the outside of the plate okay. because that's one of the Blue Zones Power Nine is like the 80% rule, which is eating until you're 80% full. So mm-hmm. stopping before you're full. Okay. And one way to do that is with portion control um, in, uh, we, by using smaller plates. Okay. And so one thing that we help to kind of recommend people do is to um, like do 10 inch dinner plates or just use like the inside ring of your plate. And so it's kind of a less mess. And it's less I mean, then you're not having precarious, you know, scenarios here with like exactly. avocado on the side. Exactly. Off the edge. So for your tomatoes, do you like quarter them or you just have them? I quarter them. I do too. I like I, I like too. having just that right amount of like the gooeyness on one side and the crispy on the other. And honestly, like these are just like the right texture. I think that is that enough tomato for you? That's enough for me. Okay, I'll do do the same amount for you. I do the same. I like, like, I like tomato. Yeah. I know. Well, it's it's. I feel like. I'm not a person that does like scales and weight and yeah. then away for, I don't mm-hmm. know. I, I think maybe if I had more free time, I mm-hmm. might do that, but probably not. But I'm kind of more about buying it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, yeah, I'm, what about, looks good. I'm about eyeballing things. I just recently took this CrossFit nutrition course and yeah. talked about all these different kinds of ways that you can eat in other diets. And one of the main things that they're trying just to like do the basics, like try to like shop the outer aisle because those are just less processed mm-hmm. foods. This is just another good example, just like eat, you know, vegetables and nuts and seeds and mm-hmm. like really keep it simple. Keep Not it a lot simple. of extra. Keep it simple. We're thinking it. I and think that's, that's really key is to mm-hmm. keep it simple. So I'll put mine on mine. Just perfect. Mine. You do it. I love it. That was yeah. a good spread. <laughs> that's right. Drop it from six inches above. That's, and that's do you want to put yours on Sure, here? I'll do my own. Okay. I mean, I trust you, even though you also had your hands on already. So it's, it's not like I want to um, get any more germs seeds. on them. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, 
we have some olives and I love olives. Mm -hmm. I can eat, this is something, I get olives a lot at my our house and we do do like whole olives mm -hmm. um, cause I just eat them. Like my, my kids and I, we still put them on our fingers. And mm -hmm. Yeah, they're fun. Um, so we'll do some olives. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know why I'm doing this now. I, I love it. I like you're doing things. a really good job. You know what? You're, um, you're customizing it to your liking. <laughs> Should I have done the um, cilantro first? I think cilantro is a great is, is it a overall, garnish? overall garnish for some people. I find it to be like almost half of my salad sometimes. Oh, so you like a lot of love cilantro. cilantro. So, okay, well, let's do cilantro. Um, do they also have your cooking class? They talk about how to cut cilantro. I feel like that's also. I think they did. He did. I'd have to watch it again to remember what <laughs> Chef Ian said to do. What well, do you do? Um, I when I get the bunches, I like twist off the stems, like right. just, just twist it off. Yep, and then I, yep, and then I just cut, oh, make them into small. Yeah, and then you just chop and then we it. Just chop it. Yep. It smells really good. I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. <laughs> you can also pull them backwards through a colander. What? Oh uh, my gosh. So our amazing before. cameraman, Cole Massey, has his own I own tricks for this. Cole gets to do a cooking class with Rebecca here soon, right? So am I gonna be the camera person for that cooking class? <laughs> That'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be like, hey, over here, over here, pay attention. So is that like an okay That's perfect. chop? Yeah, it's a great chop. Okay. You you customize how you want to throw yours on. I'll grab like okay. I'm not like a huge cilantro person. It's perfect. So I think I'm more of like cilantro's my my topping. And I'm gonna be like grab okay. and dump the whole thing. I'll even use this cool knife if you're you can. Cool. You're cool with it. I have a better knife inside my house, but this mm. one was the one out here. Well, I mean yeah. that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I'm trying to make mine go as tall as possible. Like tall. Tall. Crazy. Yeah, like it's like, mountain it's scenario. 90, it's ninety percent vegetables. I mean, where can you go fair. wrong? Fair. Okay. So we have the things. Oh, we've got some. And here's what here's my thing. I don't like onions. You know, oh well, I'll have so the I onions. Will, I, just I like onions. onions. I don't know that family likes me to eat onions. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have absolutely. I'll have my space tonight. Well, and another <laughs> reason why like I love these stacks as a meal is that like you can customize and have all your stuff, but these are really easy to put the lids back on, put them away, and you already have like the next meal basically ready. Oh, that's so true. That's so true because so. I put like all of these have um these containers that I have here have like nice lids to them. Mm -hmm. Um which is except for these these are just little holes. But I can close them and put them in the refrigerator mm -hmm. and then take them out again tomorrow or mm -hmm. tomorrow afternoon for lunch. Like a lot of times we'll do haystacks like because they're a quick lunch option mm -hmm. too, which is nice. And um if we're not in town, I don't know, one of these days I need to order a haystack from Stone Soup, I guess. Yeah. Challenge. We'll challenge. Challenge this week. <laughs> Get a haystack from Stone Soup. Well it's Wednesday too. We only have two days. All right, it's almost there. Yeah. Almost cool. there. Okay, so we have some other add-ons over here. Yes. And they're kind of protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So these were Nikita and I said, Nikki, like, what are some other things that you put on um uh your haystacks? And she says that she likes to add on some some good protein. And so what is what is this the white I really stuff? like hemp seeds and okay. I also really I so again going back to like different kinds of crunch. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'll do both. Sometimes I'll just go full like whole like dousing of the hemp seed all over and then or I'll have just like a little bit of the Pumpkin seeds, or and these are pumpkin seeds. Yep. Okay, and these are not toasted. Do you toast your I don't pumpkin mind. seeds? I, I like all the different kinds of okay seeds, and I think these are actually. What are what do you know about the pumpkin seed as an option? I've heard so I heard that pumpkin seeds actually have like all nuts and seeds have like one of the highest protein contents. So mm -hmm. I'll just like eat pumpkin seeds, yeah. um, especially. Like if I've done like a like gone for like a long walk or run or something mm -hmm. like that, and I feel like I could use a little extra protein, I'll um I will I'll just eat them because I also like them because they're not like you know almonds I love almonds I love mm -hmm. like I could eat pecans almonds all the things um a lot of them probably more than what I should mm -hmm. but they don't have like oxalic acid or something like that um and yeah so yeah. Mm -hmm. it's cool. they're kind of nice add-ons though yeah. And we also have some. Oh yeah, this is another one of my customizations. Hard boiled eggs, to get protein. which I don't know if I'm like on board with you on this one, but 
look over it. I mean, I guess Marvel, I heard you like slice them in half. I'll just them slice on? them up. Yep. Oh, or you like chop them up, chop them up. Just like slice is fine. Okay. Yeah. Like, and then um, then I'll grab the salsa for us. Okay. Then we, can, then we can talk about these we can are eating while we we'll last Yeah, questions, I will. Maybe. So these are farm fresh eggs that we got from my husband's friend um, Nathan Viavant. They make they have some great chickens and great eggs. And eggs. There's them right there. I'll just throw it in. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Yeah. These. And then we also have um, some. Uh, this is like two percent um, fat. Uh, Greek yogurt that you can use as a substitute for sour cream. Um, you can use cashew cream if you want to do a vegan option, right? Or you can use ranch. Or you can use ranch. <laughs> okay. Everybody likes some good ranch. Um, I, I love ranch dressing. Mm -hmm. But okay, but this is really what a haystack is. I think I'm going to add some of these. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit here. And those, and I want some salsa. I love salsa. This is just some salsa they do at Andy's. Um, I want some salsa. Do you want salsa? I would love some salsa. Thank you. Cool. Well, um, hey, we have some of our team members on the call right now. Um, could you guys uh, vet any questions for us? Does anybody have any questions about the amazing adventure of Haystacks. I don't think I don't see any questions, but I would ask a question about like if there are things besides chips that you could use for the bottom part for like still to have that like crunchy, salty, but not a chip. Emily, that's a really great question. Thank you for asking that. And Nikki was talking about that earlier before we started today. Yeah. Um, Nikki, what uh what did we, you've added other so things. I, I, I totally appreciate That's one reason why I liked even like the cabbage option because that like crispiness, that crunchiness actually ends up kind of substituting at times. Some people will do at our house, will like use a different, like, like other like root vegetable or something that might be a little more crunchy. Again, just like for us, our goal is like and maximize crunchiness. So uh, I would probably be the first person to do like a cabbage if I'm substituting or not having any um, chips for the day. You also talked about using rice. Yes. Which is so, crunchy or salty. But right, but it's that whole idea of like making it a complete protein. And when you talked about how beans are such a, like a great thing, but when you like pair it with rice, it's even more super powered. Mm. You're going for it. I love mm -hmm. it. Oh, the black beans are really good. Sometimes something will do too. My husband makes a really good vegetarian chili with like chickpeas um, and mm -hmm. pinto beans and black beans and kidney beans and great northern beans, like every type of bean. Um, I don't think we can technically call it a chili. We lived in Texas for a little bit. <laughs> and if you put beans in it, it's no longer a chili, right? It's like soup. And so maybe oh, it's fair. like a 12 bean soup. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But um I love putting it on my our haystacks too because then it has all those other like tomato and cumin and all the mm -hmm. other notes with that spices and such. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. And sometimes you'll put cheese, mm -hmm. right? You like you told me this. I have a, a long specific list of customization. Yep. <laughs> I really like cheese, just in general. Mm -hmm. But I get like the mm -hmm. extra sharp, sharp. No pun intended. Mm -hmm. White cheddar. It's just a nice like tangy add on. I make my own, my sister-in-law makes her own ranch dressing that has a bunch of garlic in it. And we use a, a vegan, um, like sour cream because That's Sonia. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Oh, geez. so many mm -hmm. sisters. There's a lot. There's a few. I have a few of them. They're great though. I love them. Um, but I think every household has their own kind of thing. That's their thing. Yeah. So randomly. I've, yeah. I've heard, I've heard that it is like, cause so haystacks, you, did you eat haystacks from now? Mm -hmm. all the time oh, yeah yeah but then everyone has the option like oh hey we're gonna have a haystack night and all of our like our church family would come and people would just bring the toppings and then just like throw it together and then everyone gets to kind of customize their so nobody's like oh i don't like that or mm -hmm. i don't like that my kids are so picky sometimes and i'm mm -hmm. like you know what we can customize this you don't even have to have this kind of lettuce if you don't want right? you can have spinach if you want to you know mm -hmm. um well, hey, Emily, Rebecca, do we have any other questions or anything? Because if not, then we're going to wrap up so that Nikki and I can haystack. eat these haystacks and we'll make one for Cole. And, um, and yeah, we'll no, go on with our evening. No questions. It was no really questions. great, you guys.
Thank you everybody so much for joining us. Thanks so much, everyone. We appreciate it. If you feel like you missed something or you want to recap it, we'll get this um, up on our website here soon. Um, and for any other information, you go to our website anytime or follow us on social media. And definitely follow Destination Community Fitness too. And um, maybe even go on down to their, to their shop down there on Poplar. And yeah, we'd love to have you come down.